एवरीवन डिस्पाइट यस्टरडेज ग्लोबल ग्लूम इंडियन मार्केट्स डिड रीजनेबली वेल टुडे एज आई मेंशन यस्टरडे इट वाज इन जनरल अ टायर्ड काइंड ऑफ डे फॉर द मार्केट्स मार्केट्स ओपन लो दे क्रैक ट्वेंटी टू फाइव हंड्रेड बट देन दे स्टार्टेड गोइंग अप एंड देन दे बिकेम स्टडी एंड देन दे वेंट अप अगेन क्लोजिंग नियरली एट द डेज हाई द मार्केट वॉज एक्चुअली नॉट गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड इन निफ्टी टूडे द एक्शन वॉज ऑल इन निफ्टी बैंक there only two players playing the cricket match today just like yesterday hdfc bank and icici bank kotak also but again it is not in the top 5 had it not been the top banks doing well nifty might have been down a lot hdfc is having a great run i think it is the seventh or eighth continuous up day for hdfc icici did have couple of bad days but it also has been going up for me personally icici though its market cap is lower is a stronger bank right now then hdfc in terms of performance as well as overall banking atl for some reason has been correcting a lot i expect the results to be good however the stock has been correcting a lot it seems that some large player is reducing their positions the india vix was up a bit that is reflecting in the overall sell which happened in the nifty the rbi governor held the monetary policy event today it was actually a no event however if you listen to the commentary it was pretty good they fielded lot of questions with grace and they answered everything the journalist or however asking all silly questions they were still talking about the events that have spanned in the last 15 20 days very little probing it was mostly reactions from the governor and his team nothing major outstanding caught my eyes today ahead of the weekend mostly people were doing profit booking there was not much happening this is something i mentioned yesterday also that the bulls are taking a breather except hdfc and icic bulls of course next two weeks are shortened weeks thursday of next week is a holiday on account of eid as a result the fno expiry will happen on wednesday i believe tcs results are due on thursday not wednesday the action in any case will be on friday then the following week 17th which is wednesday will be a holiday on account of ram navmi traders do have issues on shortened weeks it is very hard to carry positions especially if you are a buyer across the holidays international coverage wise most of the asian and european markets were down a lot today Europe was down one percent nearly. US has opened up today. This is on top of the job data that was released earlier today. US markets are liking the good job data. The non-farm roll jobless claims have come down from three point nine percent to three point eight percent. The comical part of US, which you might observe on Monday, is today they are celebrating the data. On Monday, however, they realize that good job data means interest rates may not get cut sooner, and the markets will be down. This is typically what is happening since last two or three events. the markets in us react one day later to any event let's see what happens on monday now another news brent oil has crossed 90 dollars this is uncomfortable for india and globe in general quick coverage of my trades not too much happened in that day i was busy preparing for some videos and some concepts for next week so i didn't spend too much time trading i carried persistent to monday though i didn't want to because i missed the bus early in the day to bail out on the option that i had bought persistent opened week and throughout the day it was trading in a very narrow range the premium bled across the day and my positions got weaker and weaker i'll try and rescue the position on monday now for now i'm carrying about 5300 plus about 1000 rupees of charges which is 6300 kind of loss i bought lnt technologies as well as union bank for trading purposes probably for two or three days the major stocks that i've been carrying i talked about them last couple of days nothing sold today i'll settle all these trades on monday or tuesday now nifty 50 if you exclude the three large banks was a sea of red today dii is sold just like yesterday but fii is bought today this is a break in trend let's see if this continues in the next week as well nifty next 50 however reflected resilience there was a sea of green there a lot of buying happening that too percentage wise 1% 2% kind of gains overall markets are looking tired they are taking a breath ahead of the result season starting Friday is when the things kick off with TCS's result. The next fifteen days are gonna be very busy for most of the markets. I have few concepts going on in in my mind. I'll probably release some videos ahead of those results. Do watch out for them. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so that you know when the videos are released. And I'll see you on Monday. Thanks for watching.